of you playing. I expect they're enjoying the sun. <laughs> Nobody talks about anything else but enjoying themselves. Isn't that what we're here for? Not me. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Fish, you're so contrary. How is your husband doing, Mrs. Russell? I'm sorry? Aren't they putting him on trial over that train crash? I thought that was why he stayed in New York. If it were, I would have stayed with him. Oh, so he's not in trouble? Not in the least, but he has too many meetings to be able to join us. He likes to be thorough. Oh, I see. Go and fetch me a drink. I haven't bungled it, have I? Oh, no. She'll like you the more. Of course. <laughs> Your daughter is wonderful at the game, uh, Mrs. Russell. <laughs> I'm a wonderful audience. You hit all the balls. <laughs> Mr. Van Ryan is very quick on his feet. Mm. What can I say? I like to win. Oscar! Oh, Hello, Mrs. Fish. Mrs. Fane, Mr. McAllister, and... May I present Mr. John Adams? This is Mrs. George Russell. And my son, Larry Russell, my daughter, Gladys Russell. I feel I know you both through Oscar. He speaks so highly of you. What are you doing here? I'm staying with the Wedmores at Chateau sur Mer. I called to Mrs. Fish's house, and they told me you were all here at the casino. Do you know Newport well, Miss Russell? No, not at all. It's our first visit. What are you doing for dinner? To whom was that directed? To you and your new people. Not you, Aurora. I'm not invited. I'm not a new person. You come and bring Mr. Adams with you. He's not one of my party. I like the cut of his chin. Mr. Adams, what about dinner tonight? I don't suppose Mrs. Wetmore would mind. Then that's settled. I hope the plan is agreeable to you, Mrs. Russell. Oh, it's agreeable. Don't you worry. Uh, Mrs. Fish is quite right, of course. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I think I'm playing at having a lovely time. Here, Miss Russell. Let me help you with that. <laughs> 